All right, welcome back to HB Unfiltered Sports Talk. I'm joined by the Stiff Brownie. What up, party peeps? I'm the Dirtbag. Uh, next week, we will get the intern back, which we're looking forward to. Yep, glad she's back. Yep, and today's show is brought to you by J3 Supply Group for your hose and fitting specialist. Uh, we also got a big shout out to Joey Big Rob's Pizza. I know where I'm going for lunch today. And, and his billboard, his yeah. billboard is bringing in some money. He's got to get a couple more hey, billboards hey, out there. Hey, hey, keep that on the DL. Yeah. We, don't need, we don't need the IRS my, around Joey. My, my, <laughs> my place, Sports Bar and Grill, OC Boardroom, Heather. Thanks, Heather. And Selman Chevrolet. Uh, hit up Larry Beavers and drop our names. Yeah, uh, intern, Stiffy B or Dirtbag and save thousands on your next uh, Chevy ride. I cannot wait until the intern's back because I am tired of fact-checking myself. <laughs> right? We, yeah. need, we need her back. <laughs> we need her back. Yeah, yeah. fact-checking. Seriously. Let's get right into this baseball, yes. shall we? We got, we got uh, what, game f uh, four, five tonight? G game five, Dodgers, Dodgers. Hopefully Dodgers can close it out in New York, just sweep them in the uh, Big Apple. They look good. The cream is rising to the top, baby. And then uh, get ready. They might as well just stay there because uh, actually they have to come back because game one would be at Dodger Stadium no matter what. But they will be most likely facing uh, the Yankees. I don't think the Indians can, even though they won a great game. Uh, yesterday in grand fashion, I don't think they can win a series against the Yankees. Uh, the Dodgers need to make sure that they don't see uh, Manaya again. That guy, oh. that guy just owns them, dude. So he tonight, should have been pitching tonight, like guys. Sale a, a long time ago. I know that's what he's thinking to himself. He's like, I should have done this sideway arm thing a long time ago, and I'd be a, I'd be pretty rich by now. Yeah, yeah. At least he at least he figured it he out. He started with Oakland. too late. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. He, but all the all those teams that had him and they see how he's pitching now, they're like, dude, where was that when you were on our, on For our sure. team? For sure. But uh, yeah, <laughs> de definitely uh, exciting um, possibility of Dodgers Yankees World Series. But now we got to move on to the NFL. And um, real quick, I got a quick question for you. Yeah, <clears throat> let's not skip over this. I was thinking the other day, and I, and I don't know why I was thinking this, but. When I looked at all the teams going into the uh, Major League Baseball playoffs, yes, I looked and I said, you know what, all these teams could use Trevor uh, Bauer. Yeah, oh, Trevor Bauer. He's yeah, I, he's been exonerated. Well, let me ask you this: Do you think that he kind of maybe pulled a Kaepernick, where he sued the owners on like a very hush hush super DL deal? They cut him a check, and now he's blackballed from Major League Baseball, just like Colin Kaepernick. You can't sue billionaires and then go get a job and make millions off of them. He, he must have, because how, how do teams like, let's say the Angels, how how does a team like the Angels not go out and sign this guy? Because he'll sign for league minimum, right? Are you telling me that the Mets or Philly, league minimum, Trevor Bauer, like that wouldn't have been a game changer against the Dodgers? I mean, that's a big, dude, big, exactly. big addition. Like, like I think the Mets would like uh, Trevor Bauer going today, yeah, on the mountain against the Dodgers. Sure. So yeah, I, I don't. I don't. It doesn't get make that. any sense to me unless there's some sort of settlement that took place behind the scenes. Everybody involved signed NDAs, so they're not allowed to talk about it. Yeah. And I, he's trying to stay relevant. I mean, I, he's listen. It's a Mexico. It's a car, Mexican cartel league, but what, whatever. <laughs> I mean, the talent level is not there. Yeah. But I mean, the dude. It, it's it's the old saying that I've always had. Like, if you're supposed to go and dominate somebody, go and dominate somebody. And what right. does he do? He goes down and dominates people. Yes. So, you know. He's got crazy good stuff. His his stuff breaks big time. Yeah. I, You know, I keep saying it. We, we keep talking about the Angels. And, you know, they they got a long way to go to becoming relevant. But you can change that. You, you go out and you maybe sign like a Walker Bueller, like in the offseason. You go and get Trevor Bauer. You go get... Is Julio Urias out of prison? <laughs> Is he available oh to pitch? Jesus. But I'm I'm just saying there are guys that um, are out there that you can sign, and I mean the Cowboys, the Raiders do it all the time. They'll sign a player and they say, "Hey, you it, here, you got a clean slate." You what would Artie rather have? Rendon, who doesn't play, oh my God. or Trevor Bauer, who play, who's willing to pitch every week and and loves what he does. That's why he wants to. You know, he's made a ton of money in his career. And people are like, well, why is he pitching in Mexico? Because he loves to pitch. He yeah. wants to have fun. This is a fun thing for him to do. Um, <laughs> Dude, you know? There was a shirt of Rendon out there. It said, forget Otani's 50-50. It showed his 50-50. 50 games played. 
and 50 games out or something. <laughs> I, I forget what the other 50 was for, but it was hilarious. God, uh, Mr. Street Clothes, uh, Mr. Glass. Well, all right. that was just a question I had. Uh, let's, let's get into the NFL. Yeah, N NFL. Let's, uh, let's go so, to that. So last week um, we, we talked off air about this, this thing that I've been working on. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not a mathematician, but what I've started to notice about the NFL is we always talk about these seven – point teasers right yes and you want two teams seven point teaser get you, you want it to run through seven three you know pick them or go the other direction right plus three plus seven plus ten plus fourteen yes so what i've started to look at is i've started to look at the games that have the lowest over under totals of the week Right. And therefore, the variance between the two teams that are playing, you should be able to middle the teaser. You should be able to pick either side and be okay as long as it goes through those special numbers. Right. Last week, I went 6-0. and I chose very wisely on, on this theory. Now, I noticed that last week I was also 3-3 three and three if I had gone the other direction with the team that, that uh, I, I would have picked. Because there was three games that were clear blowouts that I gave, um, that I talked to you about. Yeah. This week... The games that I love, I love Tennessee at Buffalo. Buffalo is minus eight and a half. That brings it down to uh, minus one and a half, which is a field goal. You know, it gets through the magic number of seven. It gets through the magic number of three. The over-under is 40. You mean you're taking Buffalo to cover, right? Correct. But okay. you, you should also be able to take Tennessee because it goes through okay. 10 and 14. It puts you at 14 and a half. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's what I'm looking at, and I'm still working on this, but that's one of the games that I like. I like the New York Jets at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, the Jets are favored minus two at the Steelers. Steelers aren't bad, however, Russell Wilson is starting. We don't really know what we're going to get that way. Hey, real quick, I, not to interrupt you, but I got to go to fantasy real quick. Do you not love be, have being a Devontae Adams owner now? With Rodgers, he's, oh, he's yeah. going to throw to him and, and, uh, every a, single time. And as a counter to that, um, if you got Lazard, you might as well drop him. <laughs> yep, that's, that is true. <laughs> anyway, so, right, so the, Jets, it's the Jets at minus two take you through that, that pick them, yeah. the plus three. I find this, 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 the over-under on this game is 38.5, so the variance is going to be real tight. This game should be really, really close. Uh, you can take Pittsburgh all the way up to nine. Um, plus nine. I mean, I, I have this game being like a field goal difference. Okay. To be honest with you, I don't okay. see it, I don't see it being a blowout. Maybe it's no, in seven, it's, but either way, it should probably be a, a middle for us. Yeah. Um, I like Philadelphia Eagles minus three at the New York Giants. This game is always always close. It's a divisional rivalry game. The over under on that game is forty two and a half. Again, it goes through the magic numbers and pick them plus three. You can go the other direction, uh, plus seven, I'm not, plus ten. I'm not, ever, I'm not putting money on Daniel Jones ever. But I'm just saying. Yeah, you know, I hear it. Okay? I'm, I'm, I hear what you're saying. These are the games that I'm looking at to see if if, if we can tell the audience that we're going to middle these games. And right. That's what I want to be able to do next week when we're, on, when we're on here. Right. Uh, Miami at Indiana. Indiana's minus three. Again, goes through those numbers. The over-under is 43 and a half, a very small t total game, uh, game total. And then the last one is Houston at Green Bay, minus three. Both these teams are excellent teams. This game is going to be, a, uh, I think, a barn burner. I think they're going to score a lot of points on each other. Okay. But I think it's going to be close. Again, the over-under is 47.5. I generally don't like going over, like, 44 when, I, when I'm looking at all these games. Right. Because I think it needs to be 44 or less. Um, but it crosses over those magic numbers, and I don't think Houston gets blown out at Green Bay. So um, I like both sides of that. So... That's what I've been working on the last two weeks. Um, last week was obviously very fruitful. This week, I think you should be able to go either direction in a two-team seven-point teaser. Okay. Do not try to play these games straight up. The NFL is way too rigged. It's too obvious now, so get yourself some points. You make less money, but you make money. Yeah. So that's too, all I got too, for you. Too big to rig? That's I all I got for you. I don't think so. All right. Well, then, you know, with that being said, let's move on to our college uh, football picks. Last week, uh, man, I, oh, there's some great games this week. I was like 50-50 last week. Didn't have the greatest uh, week. You know, I, I, need, I need to do a little more research on my part on that Oklahoma-Texas. I found out after I took Oklahoma plus 14 and a half, I found out all six receivers are out for Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who are they going to throw the ball to? So well, who do you like this who do you like? Well, first off, there's games today. Yeah, yeah. So so let's go with the or Oregon at Purdue. 
Oregon coming off of that big win against Ohio State. I, genius, genius move by the coach, by the way. It's it's twenty nine and a half. I mean that is a that is a lot of points. It's, and it's, it's for sure la, for sure a letdown game for and, sure. And I real quick, I don't know if you saw last week's game. Illinois was up twenty to three on Purdue, and in the third quarter, and this game ended fifty one to forty eight somehow. Illinois. Wow. Uh, just absolute no defense. So there's going to be a lot of scoring in the Oregon Purdue game, but I, I man, I I want to say Purdue should be able to cover thirty points basically. Well, they're over under sixty and a half, so they're saying that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't I don't really like either of it, but I do like the fact that this is at Purdue, and I do feel like Oregon is going to have a letdown game because that Ohio State game. Literally came down the final seconds. Yeah, it's, it should look pretty cool in the field, too. I'm, I'm sure Purdue will do the all, all black, and uh, Oregon will do the all white Stormtrooper. Very, very similar to the Alabama Georgia game. They both had a letdown game the next week. Yes. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm taking Purdue on, on this one. The next one Oklahoma State at BYU. BYU is a uh, sleeper here. They're very good. They're very good. They got a lot of twenty-five-year-olds on on their squad because <laughs> they, they 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 rode their little bikes and uh, around the country and did their thing <laughs> on their missions. So um, they're playing. They're playing. A, they're playing a full man squad team. So it's eight and a half. I'm, I'm thinking BYU. They have been covering on good teams. So I think it continues. I, I think they cover the eight and a half on Oklahoma. Okay, I like BYU tonight for sure. Okay, I've already got it locked and loaded. All right, another another good one. We got Nebraska who's coming coming back. Uh, they finally have a good quarterback, uh, uh, Rivola, but they're playing Indiana, who's hot. Indiana's favored minus six and a half at home. I'm going Indiana. Okay, I'll get on with that with you. Okay, and now we, here here we are to your your team UCLA. They're on the struggle bus. They're at Rutgers, three thousand miles away. Rutgers, five and one, coming off a terrible loss to Wisconsin, but it's only five and a half. I am not a fan of UCL and their backup QB. I'm taking Rutgers minus five and a half. I will not take that game only because I do believe Rutgers blows UCLA out, um, and I'm not going to bet against my boys. So. Oh, dude, that's but, where you make the but, money. But the the audience, but the SC. audience can make all the money they want. <laughs> I'll, I'll bet against SC. I don't bet with my heart. I'll be broke. <laughs> all right, next one: Arizona State at Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati has been looking pretty good when they're at home. Uh, Arizona State's been playing a lot of close games, but I think Cincinnati's going to get their number if they can stop Scadabo. Have you seen this running back for Arizona State? No, I have not. Dude, Scadabo. This guy is an absolute train. He is he is basically like um, uh, Taysom Hill. Uh, he's just a huge back, dude, that just runs huge you over. Huge white guy? Yeah, huge wow. white guy. Right. So, got, got to love that, right? Have to check that guy out. Got, got, yeah, he's, he's awesome. Um, next one, Alabama, Tennessee. Ooh. Alabama favored by three. Alabama's been struggling. Uh, they couldn't even beat the Tennessee's other Tennessee. Good. Tennessee is good, but Tennessee's kind of struggled the last couple games putting up points. So I'm, I'm thinking Alabama. Ryan Williams, 17-year-old receiver who should be in high school. This guy is absolutely Amazing. phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, if, if he made Georgia's defense look like Swiss cheese, he he's he's a number one draft pick, but he still has two, two more, more years, years to yeah. play after yeah. this. It's crazy. The over under in that game is fifty six and a half. Okay, so where are you going on that over under? You going over? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think they both score a lot of points, even though they're struggling in scoring. Well, Tennessee's struggling in scoring. Yeah. Alabama's defense is not like you know the usual. The, the usual. Yeah. So they've been they they're on the struggle bus. All right, so I'm going Alabama minus three. Now Michigan at Illinois. Um, Michigan's favored by three and a half. I just don't like Michigan's quarterback play at all, and Illinois has been a pretty decent team. So I'm 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 going to take the Illini plus three and a half at home. Okay, I like that. I also like teasing that to ten and a half. Okay, yeah, you you do you you are the teaser part of the group. I'm usually either money line go all in. 
Can I interject real quick? Just because yeah. I looked at this. Yeah. There's only two teams that have beaten the spread so far, six and zero against the spread, and one of them is playing Charlotte. It's number twenty-five Navy. The spread is sixteen. Wow, take Navy. Yeah. By by the way, Navy and Army are both undefeated. How awesome would that be if they if they meet each other undefeated? <clears throat> Army's Army's very good. Yeah, our Army is very good. All right. USC at Maryland minus seven. I'm taking the Trojans. Maryland's not very good. Uh oh, Haggerty's gonna call in any minute. Oh, Jason, I'm sorry. He said it, not me. Terrapins, sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll make a little wager on that one. <laughs> Colorado at Arizona. Arizona minus two and a half. I'm going with Arizona. I'm 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 done with Colorado. Yeah. I don't think they're very good. They're very overrated. Dion's overrated. Yeah. All right, LSU at Arkansas. Arkansas minus two and a half. I'm I'm taking Arkansas. Okay. Oh, here's a big game. Georgia at Texas. Texas minus four and a half. I'm going Texas. I, I think Georgia's a, been a letdown this year. And Texas is on on running on all cylinders. I think it depends on who the quarterback is. For well, Texas. I think it's yours. Did they, did they end up going yeah. back? Okay. Yeah. But, uh, it yeah, gives Arch- Texas a better shot. I'm not saying Arch Manning's not great. He is. But he's very raw. You can see it when, right. he, when he plays. Right. All right, Kentucky at Florida. Uh, Kentucky's favored by a point and a half. I'm taking Florida. Take actual money line on that because it's only plus one and a half. Florida's at home. You'll get a little bit more money by taking Florida. And then my last one, TCU at Utah. Um, you Man, Utah. Cam Rising. Here we go again. This guy got hurt. He's out for the year. He's going to apply for another medical red shirt. I think he's going to be 32 next year. <laughs> I like San Jose State and the over in that game, and I like James Madison and the over in that game. Both those teams score a ton of points. Let's make some money this weekend. San Jose State women's volleyball can't lose. Go Doyers! Got a tranny playing for him. Go Doyers!